Good morning. I'd like a double mint gum commercial for you this morning. Um, you're fired. <clears throat> so I, I can understand why Martin Luther wanted to remove the book of, or the letter of St. James from the Bible. Um, Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Um, And above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or with any oath, let your yes mean yes and your no mean no, that you may not incur condemnation. It's a strong instruction for us. Um, Do not complain. Well, uh, I've failed at that uh, greatly. Um, Every time I go to confession, I I, I confess complaining or... um, Speaking ill of, uh, of brother priests, bishops, even the Holy Father, um, it's really easy for us to complain. It's really easy for us to look at what's not going well and to say, ah, God, why are you allowing this? Why are you letting this happen? You have heard of the perseverance of Job. Yeah, but Job's like one of a kind, right? Yeah, we've heard of the perseverance of Job. He, he took everything in stride, even when God just ruined his life. Job didn't complain. We look around us and we look at the, the faults of others. We look at our, our nation, our society. We complain. We say, oh, why does it have to be this way? In fact, we have um, TV channels that are dedicated to 24 hours of people complaining. I tell you all, I'm like, quit, just stop watching the news. It doesn't matter which channel. Just turn the news off. The, the all day long news, it's just nonstop complaining. What can we do in our lives instead of complaining, right? How can we be part of a solution? How can we um, be part of the Lord's plan to sanctify the world? How can we call others to holiness? How can we recognize in our own life that call to holiness and then do something about it? In what way can I sanctify uh, or uh, allow the Lord to sanctify through me uh, those around me? Can I sanctify my home? Can I sanctify my place of work? Well, do any of y'all still work? You're all retired, aren't you? Oh, no. So, well, the, yeah, the employees that are here, yeah, y'all work <laughs> most of the time. Um, yeah. In our place of work, um, in, our, in our communities. My parents just moved into one of those old people neighborhoods, and they're complaining about all the old people. And I'm like, well, you knew what you were doing. Um, and they're like, but there's so much, like everybody knows everything about everybody and they're all gossiping. And I was like, I, I don't want to hear anything about it. <laughs> Complaining, it's, almost, it's like our national hobby. We love to complain. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another that you may not be judged. Because of course, as we complain about others, we know that others may complain about us. Right? We're not perfect. There's a saying about rocks and glass houses, right? And so how can we better live our lives in a way so as to build up the kingdom of God here on earth? How can we live our lives in a way so as to better um, evangelize the culture, evangelize our society? How can we live in a way so as to better call others to holiness? We're back in ordinary time, and so we say, okay, well, you know, there's no theme to ordinary time. Yeah, just grow in holiness. Grow in holiness. Recognize the opportunities each and every day for us to say no to sin, to say yes to God, to strive to live lives of holiness.